Yeah, I'm counterbalancing. Okay, been told by the scuba junkie guys that they've got a resident giant mantis shrimp and these guys can go out to about a foot in length so let's go and jump in the water and go and shoot it as i dropped in i spotted his burrow almost straight away and it didn't take long for the mantis to pop his head out and take a peek at me this is a mantis shrimp and it packs one of the strongest pound for pound punches on the planet spending most of its life in a burrow in the sand the mantis shrimp waits for its prey to approach before striking them as fast as a speeding bullet. To make sure it hits its mark, this underwater assassin has incredibly advanced eyesight with up to 16 photoreceptors compared to a human's measly three. What an incredible animal. I didn't want to get my head too close to it because mantis shrimps have been known to break divers' masts in the past. Not only does a mantis shrimp have the fastest strike of any creature, it's also got the most complex eye system. These guys are capable of seeing in polarised and UV light. Whilst divers love seeing mantis shrimp, around here they're also targeted by local fishermen who use some rather interesting techniques to catch them. I'm off into the village to meet a local Bajau man who's not only a fantastic free diver but also a mantis shrimp fisherman and he's agreed to take me out on his boat today. Okay, so the, so the mantis shrimp comes through here to get the fish and then they pull this tight and then catches the mantis shrimp, yes? Like that. I see. It's very clever. And that's just using a piece of fishing line and a little bit of bamboo. I was about to say, and they're off, but we're not going anywhere because the engine doesn't appear to be working. It doesn't feel most stable. Okay, this time, and they're off! We seem to be taking on a bit of water, so Will's using an impromptu setup to help him out. And the sun's starting to go down, so I hope we get there soon. Before we sink. It's a common. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm counterbalancing. Okay, we're in. It wasn't exactly elegant, but we're in. As soon as we hop in the water, Maniac wastes no time and sets off in search of his prize. Although it's soon apparent that finding a mantis shrimp may actually prove a bigger challenge than catching one. Uh, it's not looking good for the fishermen. Still no mantis shrimp and the sun's starting to go down. You've got to be really careful where you're putting your feet because there's urchins and sea snakes everywhere. I thought this was going to be easy and that we were just going to go out for a nice boat ride, land on top of some mantis shrimps, collect a couple and then go back to shore. But what this has shown that life as a fisherman around here is far from easy. I'm exhausted. What he's telling us to come, you can probably see him way out in the distance. Finally, after several hours scouring the seabed, Maniac spots a burrow. But the hard work has only just begun as he sets the trap and waits to see if it will take. Suddenly, there's a pull at the line as the mantis shrimp appears to take the bait. A tug of war breaks out as Maniac struggles to pry the mantis from its burrow without snapping his fishing gear. Come up for air again. I think it's on the line, but it is really hard, long work, so we just got to keep going back down. Then there's a breakthrough as his patience pays off and the mantis is dragged from its hole.
by one last break for freedom, Maniac reels in his catch before placing it securely in a plastic bottle, ready for transporting it to the local market. It's fascinating to see how much work goes into catching one of these mantis shrimps. And when you see these being sold on the jetty, you don't understand the effort that's gone into it. The following night, I visited the restaurants at St. Porna's Waterfront to see the local mantis shrimp market in action. Filming covertly, what I found was shocking. Tanks brimming with giant mantis shrimps, all stuffed into bottles, ready to be cooked up. Yeah, there's something about seeing animals that I'm so used to photographing in the wild here, stuck in these tiny tanks. Whilst fishing forms an integral part of the local economy, it's impossible not to feel for the mantis shrimps kept alive in a bottle without food. Dead on a plate, this fascinating creature is only worth about three pounds. For divers seeing them alive in the wild, well, that's priceless. Get away, what are you doing here? Get away. <laughs> 